Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look at the unidentified people, Jane Doe's, John Doe's, in the state of Utah and go through them. Um, let's see, we're going to start with 1944. We have, um, it says it's a male, it's Asian, Davis County, Utah, age 65, 5'2", five uh, estimated PMI is one year. Estimated date of death is 1943. Skeletal remains found on the Salt Flats on September 8, 1944, about four to five miles northwest of Caseville. Not recognizable, near complete or complete skeleton, gray or partially gray hair, no teeth present. Um, faded green plaid twat trousers, red suspenders, white t-shirt, underwear, empty eyeglass case found near remains. So that's our first one. And next one is 1947. Found February 15, 1947 in Provo, Utah. Let's see. No estimated age range. Sex, male, infant. Okay. And there's the information for that. Um, I'm just going to skim through the infants. I don't really want to read those, but you can pause it and read it if you want to. The police admitted they had no clues and no leads unless someone came forward. So there's an infant. We've got some infants in here. Next one is found July 11th, 1948. Corrine, Utah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. No estimated age. This is another infant. Cannot estimate the height or weight. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to skim through the infants. They really upset me and I really don't like to read them. Uh, this one is a uh, male, ages 50 to 52 years old, Spring Glen, Utah, found April 26, 1949. Estimated year of death is 1949. Can I estimate the height or the weight? Spring Glen, Utah, Carbon County. An unidentified man was found dead in the transient camp next to the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad line near the town of Spring Glen, Utah. Locals recognized him as a man that camped there a few nights with another transient, and they had given the pair some food. The other transient was questioned and admitted he had a couple meals with the unidentified man. He said the unidentified elderly man was asleep when he last saw him. It was reported that the unidentified man mentioned he had visited Telluride, Colorado, and that he was from Kentucky near the Tennessee border. The man was described as elderly, about 50 years old. It says 52 on the death certificate. Although a local said that the man had told him he was 69 years old. He was white Caucasian and had no identification papers on his clothes. No height or weight was reported for the unidentified man. He died within 24 hours of being found. Recognizable face. I don't know if they have any pictures anywhere. The next one. 1950, Provo, Utah. Infant. So. And you can pause these and read them if you like. The next one is. Vernal, Utah. Uh, March 1st, 1952, estimated weight 78 pounds, so that's another baby, newborn baby. Okay, next one, um, Salt Lake City, Utah, male, April 26, 1953, this doesn't have the age or anything. No age, no height, no weight. Um, 
April 26, 1953, a man was found unconscious on the second floor of the Capitol Hotel. He was rushed to the Salt Lake City County General Hospital, but died when, while en route. His two travel companions were booked into the county jail for questioning. All three men had just arrived from Portland, Oregon, when they checked into their hotel. They drank and went to bed. According to one account, money went missing, and one of the men accused John Doe of stealing it. John Doe then grabbed the descendant in a serious gesture, which caused the man to stab him once in the chest. The descendant checked into his hotel under the name Johnny Thompson, but his companions knew him as Johnny Boken, Bukens, I don't know how to pronounce that. Some paper in the possession gave the name of John Hansen of Portland, Oregon. Police had then contacted authorities in Portland who said a man matching that description spent time in a Washington state prison in Walla Walla. Salt Lake City police obtained John Hansen's next of kin information. Family viewed the body at the desert mortuary in Salt Lake City and said the body was not their son. The victim was never positively identified, May 5, 1953. The body was sent to the University of Utah for disposal. Recognizable face. I don't know if they have any photos of him either. January 1, 1958. In Utah, age 25 to 35 years old. Five foot eight to six foot two. The skeletal remains were originally found in 1958. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is that Kanash, Utah? Miller County. The Utah State Medical Examiner's Office was notified of the remains in May 1979. The remains were released to the University of Utah. The remains were returned. I don't find that very interesting, but you can read it. Um, skeletal trauma and disease suggest. He was a working cowboy or rodeo athlete who may have been knock-kneed. And like I said, you can pause this and read. I'm just going to skim through these. Okay, next one is found July 16, 1965, Brian Head, Utah. Five foot nine. They don't know the age. They don't have the weight. Male. Human remains were found by two park rangers near a climbing area of Cedar Break Cliffs near Sunset View Lookout at Cedar Breaks National Monument. The body was situated between two logs doubled over about 300 feet from the highway. There was a dollar fifty-one and a flashlight found on the body along with an empty wallet, empty metal suitcase, and a cane. Why would you have an empty metal suitcase? That doesn't make no sense. The descendant wore a size eight and a half shoe. There was no identification found with the body. It doesn't make any sense at all. Male, black, African American, five foot ten, August twenty second, nineteen sixty five, rural box, Elder County, Utah, one hundred and thirty pounds, estimated PMI one hour. He was found along the Southern Pacific Tracks in Western Box Elder County, approximately 100 miles from Brigham City. According to investigators, he was killed in a fall from a train and learned the victim had boarded the train from California and bought a loaf of bread in Elko, Nevada prior to his death. He appeared to be a transient. So, next one. And there's a lot of them, so I want to go through as quickly as possible. September 1st, 1967, Westwater, Utah. Adult male. Estimated year of death, 1967. No height, no weight, no age. Found badly decomposed in the rural desert near Westwater, Utah. Okay, next one. Female, rural Utah, 1970, October, 20 to 60 years old, 5 foot 2, 140 pounds. Discovered by a county road crew as they were clearing a section of the roadside. She'd been buried 5 feet from the road and was uncovered by a bulldozer. She could have been buried for months or even years. 
Richard Triplett with the Washington County Sheriff's Office is the case manager in this case. Next one. Mel, rural Utah, August 13, 1973, age 20 to 30, 5 foot 2, 130 pounds, estimated PMI weeks. Not recognizable. Black hair. Body was closed, but there is no description of the closing in the case file. Um, found floating in Bear River. Next one, female, Ogden, Utah, September 15th, 1974. Uh, infant baby. Newborn found floating. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, 1976, February, rural Utah, ages 30 to 35 years old, 5 foot 11, 30 to 35, 1976, estimated year of death, one or more limbs not recovered, brown hair, powerful build, and it has the clothes they were wearing with the sizes, dark brown hair, 7 inches long, beard, and a mustache. Body found in a wash near Green River. Next one. June 24, 1978, Salt Lake City, Utah, ages 30 to 50 years old. Estimated year of death, 1978. Estimated pre PMI hours, 6 foot tall, cannot estimate the weight. Body found while firefighters were trying to put out a fire at the Rio Grande County Lumberyard. Found outside between two buildings, a bottle of Thunderbird was next to their body. Three packs and a sleeping bag were found nearby. Chart burned. A lot of unknowns. September 20th, 1978, ages 50 to 55 years old, days 5 foot 5, 158 pounds. Moderately decomposed mail was found at the bottom of a coal car on September 9, 1978. The coal car had been in Grand Island, Nebraska. The train then traveled through Salt Lake City, Provo, and Helper before arriving at the rural Carbon County 9-18-1978. Property found with a descendant suggests he may have been in Lincoln, Nebraska, and Wichita, Kansas. Gray hair, partially gray short. Burn scar on right thigh. Uh, tattoos. He had tattoos. Dagger snake. Two daggers. Dorothy, January 8, 1950. And there's some accessories with him and eyewear that you can pause and read as well. A male found June 15, 1981. Bear River City, Utah. Ages 20 to 40 years old. Estimated PMI days, 5 foot 8, 177 pounds. Found nude on a bank of a canal and multiple super, superficial incised wounds present. Recognizable face. I don't know if they have a picture. Red auburn hair, reddish brown, long sideburns, green eyes, reddish brown mustache. So, 20 to 40 years old. The next one is March 13, 1982, Salt Lake City, Utah, ages 25 to 35 years old, estimated PMI months, 5 foot 4, 145 pounds, measured, estimated year of death, 1981-1982, victim found floating in the surplus canal, he had a wire around his neck, he had been in the canal for several months. A brown hair, dark brown hair, medium length, was moderate, graying on sides and back, Black, dark brown, abundant over torso and back. Black, dark brown mustache, brown eyes. And there's some scars and the clothing and a blue handkerchief. And jewelry as well is mentioned with this one. Uh, next one will be a female found. May 1st, 1982, Salt Lake City, Utah. No age. No height, no weight. Um, there were dredge in the bottom of the Jordan River. 
while walking along the bank, someone spotted what they thought was a rock. They went to pick it up. It was a human skull. Minus the mandible. Police responded and sifted the material. More bones were discovered. The bones were determined. It says not to be human bones, but it's listed under female, so it must have been. The medical examiner took custody of the skull. They determined there was a bullet hole in the forehead with an exit in the back of the skull. The medical examiner believed the skull was very old. I don't know what very old means, but there we have it. Next one, male Moab, Utah, 1983, February, 18 to 25 years old, measured 5 foot 7, 142 pounds, estimated PMI months. Let's see, all parts recovered. Found in the Three Gossips area of the Arches National Park. Brown hair, light brown hair, slightly curly, blonde eyelashes and eyebrows, beard stubble, blonde in color. So, partial pack of camel cigarettes. And there's more information on that. Next one is June 24th, 1983, ages 23 to 33, 5 foot 4, estimated PMI months, estimated year of death, 1982-1983. Decomposed body found under brush by Forest Service Ranger. All parts recovered. Black hair, coarse, wavy black hair. There's uh, notes, clothing, names, it looks like, and addresses and phone numbers. Um, Mel Millard County, Utah, age 20 to 30, found December 28, 1983. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, years, estimated year of death, 1981-1983, but it says years. A transient was observed getting off a stalled freight train and trying to cross the flooded river. The transient fell in the river and was washed away. The body was never found. A skull was found in the Seaver River, December 1983. So I guess that would be, they would believe it would be that person. Male, uncertain, Moab, Utah, age 45 to 55 years old. Five foot four, estimated PMI one year. Cannot estimate the weight. Skeletal remains found by the West Water area on the Colorado River, Grand County. One or more limbs not recovered. Unknown hair color, unknown eye color. Female found Salt Lake City, Utah, September 3rd, 1986, 20 to 40 years old, 5 foot 6, 115 pounds, estimated PMI months, found floating in a canal east of the Salt Lake City sewage treatment plant. All parts recovered, not recognizable. Um, pink comb, pink toothbrush, purple bracelet. That unclicks and turns into a pen. It has very good details of the clothing, which I found odd. I just I didn't find that they had the details odd. I just found the clothing a bit odd. So next one is a man found September 15th, 1987 in Utah, age 30 to 50 years old. Cannot estimate the weight. Estimated PMI year. Skeletal remains and personal property were found in Weaver County, Utah. Head not recovered, torso not recovered, one or more limbs not recovered. There's the accessories. Whoops. If you want to pause it and read all the things that were found with him, you can. And it even has the soles of the shoes and eyeglasses and things like that. So, And they have images on some of these where you can go and look at them on the site. Uh, this one is a man found April 17th, 1990. Could have been anywhere from 18 to 99 years old. He was 5 foot 5. 
It says estimated PMI minutes. I don't know why they don't have the age. Three transients were spending the night in a house. They had been drinking alcohol and fell asleep with a candle burning. The house caught on fire and two of the three transients escaped. They told police the descendant was known as Kentucky, but that his first name may have been Charles or Chuck, and he was from Louisville, Kentucky. The original medical examiner's report does not say how old the descendant may have been, only that he was an adult. All parts recovered, char burned, and that's that one. The next one is an unidentified male found West Haven, Utah, April 16, 1992, ages 21 to 46 years old. Six foot one estimated PMI hours. Firefighters responded to a grass fire in an open field and found a burned body partially under a fiberglass boat. Straight blonde, light brown. Oh, that's... Okay, so you can pause that and read it if you want to. The next one is an unidentified male found in Salt Lake City, Utah. Ages 30 to 50 years old, 5 foot 9. 176 pounds, estimated PMI minutes, arrested by Salt Lake City Police at the Road Home Shelter, became unresponsive in a holding cell at the jail, was transported to Aldias Hospital where he died. No identification was found on the deceased and he never told the police his name. Race is believed to be mixed with possible black, African-American, and Hispanic ancestry. The, the descendant spoke English and Spanish. All parts recovered. Recognizable face, black hair, thick and wavy. Wavy chest hair, black mustache, brown eyes. Uh, tattoos. Well, he has a tattoo. And there's other information that you can pause and read. This one is a man found in Kane County, Utah, February 6, 1994, ages 30 to 50 years old, estimated PMI two years, estimated year of death, 1992, six foot tall. Um, a human skull was found by hikers approximately a quarter mile south, State Road 89. The skull was found in a crevice in a rugged area. They have an artist's reconstruction of what he may have looked like. And if you go through the images and documents, sometimes they have images. Sometimes they have documents. Paper found in pant, pants pocket was fla from Flagstaff, Arizona Justice Court. Brown hair with a touch of gray. And there's some his clothing information as well with the size of his shoes. The next one is June 24, 1996. Found age 20 to 60 years old, 5 foot 8, 112 pounds, estimated. Estimated PMI weeks, white Caucasian male. Adult male was found floating in the Colorado River, fully dressed in clothes that not normally worn in water related activities. His fingerprints were run in 1996 and 2012 with no matches. Autopsy report states that due to decomposition of more price precise age range could not be determined so black hair two centimeters long black beard mustache stubble he had a tattoo it has the clothing and accessories mentioned along with his watch uh, next one found June 2nd, 1998, age 25 to 34 years old, male, 5 foot 8, estimated PMI years, uh, Colorado, let's see, they were searching for three fugitives in Utah, Garfield County was where he's found, when they found the descendant skeletal remains, it was a young Hispanic male, that had a calf roping belt buckle and cowboy boots. 
He may have been traveling from El Paso to Los Angeles. Brown hair. Loose clumps of brown hair were found near the skeletal remains. And there's the accessories. He had a Ford truck key. Long distance calling card. Ticket with El Paso and Los Angeles written on top. And there's more information. And they have images, which will be in the images and documents if you go look it up. Next one is a female. She was found 2001, March 13th in Utah. 17 to 20 years old. Estimated PMI years. Estimated year of death is 2001 with the estimated PMI years. That confuses me. Uh, they were serving a drug search warrant on a 620-acre lot owned by a specific individual. They found the remains in an outdoor area, initially thought to be an archaeological—why can't I say that word sometimes? Archaeological Native American. But recent forensic analysis determined the remains to be a modern Hispanic female who died two to twenty years before 2001. Torso not recovered. One or more limbs not recovered. Wow, that's pretty sad. Male Asian, found 2004. Beaver, Utah, age 39 to 36 years old. 5'6". Died somewhere between 1996 and 2002. And there's other information. Found above ground, scattered in the area. Clothing was still present. Near complete skeleton. Black hair, short and straight. There's money change found in the pants pocket. Dated 1979 to 1996 with other information as well. Uh, next one, male Hispanic Latino, found April 26, 2004, ages 33 to 42. Estimated year of death is 2004, but estimated PMI says years. 5'5". Five five. Found in Beaver County, Utah, found in a dry creek bed. So, not recognizable, black hair, slightly curly hair. Ace bandage, and there's other information as well. Uh, next one is Hispanic male. They have a sketch. 18 to 35 years old. Estimated year of death, 2008 to 2011. Estimated PMI, 3 years. 4 foot 11 to 5 foot 6. Cannot estimate the weight. Uh, Stockton, Utah. Skull, mandible, and postcranial remains found April 2013 as well. All skeletal remains were confirmed to DNA to belong to the same person. Height estimated to be 4 foot 11 to 5 foot 6. Black hair. Okay. And if you go to like the images and documents, you can see the pictures, and then you can click on the pictures, and we'll click on this one, I'll show you, so that you can see it bigger. But when I'm putting them all in a video, I don't want to do that with all of them. I try to do individual videos on them, on some of them. Um, December 16, 2011, Millard County, Utah, ages 40 to 60. Uh, estimated year of death, 2011. Estimated PMI years. No height, no weight. They were working on a drilling rig. Found them on the shore of the Seaver Lake in a remote part of Miller County. How long they were there had had been how long they had been dead is difficult to determine due to the unique environment he was found in. He could have been dead before the summer of 2011. Or up to 15 years. The height range is 66 to 71 inches tall. Short hair was attached to the cranium. The color was unable to be determined due to bleaching by post-mortem environment. And you can read more information about that. And there's the clothing. So maybe the clothing would help. 
and there's images of that. Next one. Um, Roy, Utah, found May 7, 2012. Ages 40 to 50 years old, four foot, five foot six, sorry. Estimated PMI months. Found dead in what appeared to be a transient camp underneath the freeway. Brown hair, possible beard, gray brown, approximately seven centimeters long. Newspaper dated 3-8-2012. Tracks something past dated 3-12-12. Near the body. Oh, near the body. So the color of the clothing was compromised. Well, so that would make me think it happened around that time, right? But I don't know. Um, maybe not. Found Washington County, Utah, September 9, 2014. Estimated age, 35 to 45 years old. Estimated year of death, 2014. Estimated PMI years. No height, no weight. Hikers found skeletal remains in a drainage wash after heavy rains. The remains were found in a remote area near Virgin, Utah. So estimated to be one to five years postmortem. Height is estimated to be five foot six to six foot one. And there's more information there. Uh, this one found 2014, September 18, 2014, ages 45 to 55. Estimated PMI years, estimated year of death, 2014. Found by hikers ascending out of the Central Canyon of the West Side Hotel Mesa near Moab was laying on a decaying foam pad under a juniper tree. Race could be Asian, Native American, or Latino. Height, 5'5 five five to 5'9. Five Not a lot of info. There we go. There's some accessories with them as well. So, and there's images as well that you can find. Uh, this one, Ogden, Utah, found 2016, June 17. Ages 25 to 35 years old. Estimated PMI months, 5 foot 8 estimated. Suspected transient male found in a storage yard. Housing large commercial freestanding prefabricated bathrooms. Possibly been living in one of the bathrooms. Okay. Uh, this one is found April 1st, 2020. Six foot two to six foot four, very tall. 25 to 35 years old. Um, modern human skeletal remains were found in a remote desert area of Emory County, Utah. Missing eye. Black belt, black underwear, boxer shorts, backpack. Uh, next one is April 25th, 2020, found in Salt Lake City, Utah. Ages 30 to 40 years old. Male, white Caucasian. Found in what appeared to be a transient camp, City Creek Canyon near downtown Salt Lake City. Between the ages of 30 and 40, height and weight could not be estimated. Whoops, I didn't mean to go so fast that you wouldn't be able to pause it and read it if you wanted to. Sorry. Okay. There's the accessories. Next one. October 7, 2020, found 5 foot 2 to 5 foot 6, Hispanic, Latino, um, Iron County, Forest Service crew building a new trail located in Skeletal Remains. Access to a remote area required an ATV, 35 plus years age of his time of his death. And there's the clothing. October 14, 2020, found, 
2021 found in Orem, Utah, ages 35 to 45, 5 foot 11 to 6 foot 6. Near complete skeleton. Skeleton remains located in a foreign pasture. Best card, food cards, fibers from clothing on the body. And the last one is found in Washington, Utah, August 20th, 2022, 5 foot 5 to 5 foot 11. Mummified partial skeleton knives remains were found at the base of a mountain red rock hillside in Washington City, Utah. Clothing and shoes were still on the body. Size large pants. Hoodie with a PPG Pittsburgh Paints logo on the front. Socks and there's the clothing. Like I said, you can pause this in any places and read them. Head hair appears to be longer, mustache and beard. Doesn't have the color or anything. So, if you know who any of these people might be or you have any information about these, please contact authorities and let them know. Feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to pray for their loved ones. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.